Before we get further into the video, I would love to introduce to you a new tool that I've been using on my iPad, which is PDF Element. As a digital college student, it is so important for me to work with tools that increase my note-taking without it feeling overwhelming, which is why I use PDF Element. It's a fast, affordable app to manage your PDF documents across desktop, mobile, and web. You can annotate PDF files by highlighting text and changing the colors. You can also add text in various ways such as text boxes and sticky notes, but my personal favorite feature is the drawing tool where you can draw and write using a pencil, which is the best tool to use during lectures. There is also an option to sign documents by creating a signature. To add an annotation, simply click on the tool such as highlight and drag it over the text. To see a list of annotations on the file, click on the right sidebar panel and then the comments tab. Clicking on any of these will take you to the page where the annotation is added. PDF Element is free to try, so if you're interested in trying it out, you can click the link in my description. Thank you so much to PDF Element for sponsoring today's video. She's so lonely. 
Alex Ruiz, you know, make medicine? No. I'll just keep dying. I don't really mind. I was editing this video and I felt low-key a little bit bad because of how short this video was gonna be if I just kept it like this so I'm going to bind off my word because you guys I finished my top are you kidding me finally it took me a long time but hey we got here so while I'm how do you say that while I'm while I'm weaving in these ends I want to talk about a few things one this week two some future knits that I'll be doing probably. So this week has been really weird in a lot of ways. I think adjusting to like the schedule isn't really the problem. I think for me it's more being in this really social environment for an entire day that has really kind of almost shocked me. Being in this social environment has been really tough for me because I don't know as an introvert I just kind of want to be on my own and I want to do my own thing so whenever class ends I'm always the first one to leave that classroom ASAP anyways let's not talk about college anymore I am thinking about my next knitting project and I don't know if you guys remember but I have this green yarn that I just wasn't a fan of when I got it and unfortunately I couldn't return it it was really difficult for whatever reason so I was first thinking of selling you know that yarn so that I can buy other yarn that I actually like but I don't think anyone's gonna be interested in that so I might just make something out of it anyways I don't know yet is it worth the hundred dollars probably not but I don't know what else to do so I've been thinking about making this sweater it's a really simple design I think by Kara's Knit Kara's Knits I think I've been also obsessed with this little vest pattern but then again I'm kind of done with the whole fucking uh, mohair I don't understand how I was a beginner and I thought like you know what it's a great idea to make an asymmetrical top in mohair. Who does that? I mean, it turned out. So yeah, anyways, I'm not gonna, I'm gonna shut up now. <laughs> I'm going to finish off this top and when I'll finish it, I'll be right back to you. 